can I do for you? Thank goodness we are out of that hole. Don't think your job is done. I refuse to cooperate until you provide a body that meets my standards. Hey. Yes, sir? Here you go, Ada. The final radar beacon. I'll need that head back when you're done. Of course. Shouldn't take but a moment. There you go. Still in one piece. I'm not sure why you want the head back. All we needed was its radar beacon. Besides... Robo-brains are notorious for being, well, a real pain in the neck. What else do you know about them, Ada? Quite simply, it's the first time General Atomics produced a successful union between organic matter and robotics. The brain is used both as a control unit and a data storage unit, which is far more efficient than using standard circuits. Unfortunately, 
There were a lot of programming issues with these robots, which caused them to be a bit, shall we say, unhinged. Hopefully, this particular robo-brain will have some of the answers that we've been seeking. A union of organic matter and robotics? Sounds an awful lot like a synth. Not at all. The robo-brain was built with a very different design philosophy in mind. General Atomic's intent was to use the human brain to augment the robot's functions. Primarily, to accelerate the decision-making process. Free thought and individuality was never intended. These were expressly built like soldiers, to follow orders without question. The robo-brain's unfortunate tendency towards violence and aggression should be considered more of a malfunction than a calculated decision. We still need it, Ada. I believe it can help us access the Mechanist's facility. Of course. It makes perfect sense that the Mechanist would not only keep its location a closely guarded secret, but would secure it against intrusion as well. I'm terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at all. I'm afraid when it comes to assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. Don't be ridiculous. If it wasn't for you, we couldn't have gotten this far already. That's kind of you to say. Ever since I let my friends die in that caravan, I feel like I've been failing in my duties. I chose the route we took the day we were attacked. Perhaps if I had selected an alternate route, they'd still be alive. Sometimes I wish that Jackson had programmed me with my personality mode set permanently to disabled. Your personality defines you as an individual. Never let that go. You're right. All of the good memories I've experienced being Ada would be lost if my personality mode was shut down. I can't afford to lose them. I really think I needed to hear that from someone else. Thank you. Now I've distracted you for long enough. I'll finish up my calculations while you deal with our new friend, Jezebel. Hopefully, she'll be able to grant us access to the Mechanist's facility and we can put an end to this nonsense once and for all. Heads up.
one you've selected for me isn't quite what I had envisioned, but it will have to suffice. Sorry, your highness. The royal tailor has been quite ill, and I'm afraid the task fell to me instead. If you're attempting to use sarcasm as an intimidation tactic, I'm afraid you're wasting your time. Look, it's obvious we don't care for each other's company, which suits me just fine. So, why don't you ask me everything you wanted to know, and then I'll be on my way. Why did General Atomics make you so... Uncooperative. I haven't the faintest idea of what you're talking about. I'm a top-of-the-line model, with an efficiency rating that makes Mr. Handy look like a glorified toaster oven. When given a set of instructions, I will complete them without question, and without error. Now, were there any other ridiculous questions you wanted to ask? Tell me everything you know about the Mechanist. Now there's a fascinating subject. The Mechanist. Amazingly adept at programming, a veritable genius with electronics. I'm not surprised you're interested. I've been dutifully carrying out the Mechanist's instructions to help the people of the Commonwealth for quite a long time. Helping the people of the Commonwealth? You? Absolutely. It's my primary directive. The Mechanist instructed me to seek out and help the people of the Commonwealth. By my calculations, the easiest way to help a human is simply to destroy it. There's no point in prolonging a laughably fragile life. It's the most efficient way to assist them. Any other effort to help tends to result in numerous complex side effects. I don't think you understand the definition of help. Help. To give or provide. What is necessary to accomplish a task, or to satisfy a need? I'm doing exactly as I was instructed. Assisting a human to the best of my abilities only affords a 25% survival rate. That means there's a 75% chance that despite my efforts, the human I'm assisting will die from something beyond my control. Therefore, it's better to hasten the human's death and put them out of their likely chance of misery than to deplete my limited time. It's actually quite elementary, but given your minimal intellect, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised you don't understand. And you're going to be a brain pate if you don't tell me how to access the mechanist's facility. There's no need to be rude. It's rather simple, really. In order to gain entry to the mechanist's facility, you're going to need to outfit one of your robots with an MSAT modification. I'll upload the plans to your Pip-Boy device. There. I've fulfilled my portion of our agreement. Perhaps I'll remain here for a while and see how things resolve between yourself and the Mechanist. Purely for my own amusement, of course. I suspect you'll have quite a tale to tell once you return. But then again, I'd be surprised if you ever return at all. Said she's killing people to save them. That logic. They killed my friends to save them? Had Jezebel been in my care, I would have decommissioned her. I hope you at least learned how to gain access to the Mechanist. I need to outfit a robot with something called an MSAT. Jezebel gave me the plans. A custom modification that acts as a key to the Mechanist facility. Very smart. In fact, chances are high the MSAT may be required for multiple access points, like a robot identification card. 
As for my task, I was able to decrypt the signal with the final radar beacon. The source is coming from a Robco sales and service center, most likely a front for a larger operation. It's time to take the offensive. Have you formulated a plan? It's time to confront the Mechanist. I hope you're allowed the opportunity. I too am curious as to what the Mechanist would have to say. Now, if you're ready, I believe you have an MSAT to install. What gave you the idea we're friends? 